so at high altitudes what happens at high altitudes the the pressure which pressure atmospheric goes down now what happens for the same amount of breathing exercise that you do you are taking in lesser amount of oxygen correct so until or else you are consciously breathing in in a large amount of uh, oxygen so so until or else you are kind of that is one that is that is the first thing okay so goes down so until or else you do that you will start feeling giddy secondly the people who are staying in such terrains their hemoglobin levels go up okay so so they tire less so the people who are living there they don't feel it we feel it why because their whole body physiology has changed due to living there i'll come to that at high altitudes the pressure goes down and lesser amount of oxygen oxygen is taken by is taken in by our lungs and hence the blood correct this leads to incoherence and giddiness and the condition is called it is called anoxia huh this is called anoxia hmm should not it's called anoxia anoxia okay no oxygen anoxia there is an interesting tale the marathon runners they were coached by an english man in in somewhere around kenya okay on a mountain range that is about 3000 4000 meters above the sea level so that is a hypobaric kind of thing you understand and those kenyan runners uh, who are the world world champions they are kenyans right hmm so they are trained there Usain and huh Usain Bolt. US, right? no usain bolt is not from us he is kenyan no or runs for us I don't know. So, but but all those long distance marathon runners uh, from Kenya, they are uh, they they have been trained in such a terrain all their life that when they come down to a higher oxygen level, they simply don't tire. You understand? Their whole body physiology changes in such a manner that they are bound to be winners. Now, to imitate this, many of the marathon runners who have those facilities. train in hypobaric chambers deliberately in low oxygen and uh, so that their their physiology actually changes okay but that is not possible because you keep on coming on and off there those people stay at 4000 meter for years together you know their messes their everything is there only on the mountain top they do not come come down fine so so you will find if you go to leh and ladakh you will find so many long distance runners who come there to train they run hmm okay acha it, it was shown there so so many many such runners keep on coming to that place okay